My name is Pat Dawson, and I'm the CEO of Mayish Wholesale Floors. Let me introduce to you at this time and congratulate the winner of our Design Star competition, Mandy Majerik, and our theme for 2012, The Art of Flowers. In 2012, we will bring you a year-long program to showcase the certified Mayish Awesome Blossom flowers. It's our aim to feature top-tier and boutique-type growers that specialize in unique and exquisite flowers. We strive to support these growers and supply our artistic design community with these truly awesome flowers. The creative talent at Mayish has created this video series to allow us to share with you the beauty that we see each and every day on our Mayish sales floors. Each month, we'll feature new and unique items on our Mayish website that will enable you to enjoy the art of flowers and our Mayish certified awesome blossoms. We're excited to share our Design Star videos and our programs featuring Mandy Majeric. From our family to yours, we hope you really enjoy this video series. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Mandy Majeric, and we're here in sunny California to kick off the 2012 Mayish Design Star series. It all started with their contest, I sent a little video, and thanks to each and every one of you who voted for all the contestants. You brought me here, I'm kicking it off with some metallic, and some winter, and some crystal dangles. I'm kicking it off with a party. Why not an entry piece to celebrate, kick off the new year? I've selected these beautiful flocked birch branches as our statement piece in our containers beautiful collection of Milan vases from Accent Decor. Next, we're going to talk a few minutes about our flowers. We've got these beautiful hydrangeas. We've got our awesome blossom we're featuring in this month, the Dusty Miller. Now, all of you who have ever worked with Dusty Miller, you know this is an awesome blossom. This is amazing, the height of this beautiful foliage. We're also going to work in a little bit of this lace leaf, Dusty Miller, a little more delicate feminine variety for a little bit of accent, different texture in our design. We're going to work with these, these agapanthus from Chile, beautiful this time of year. And we're also going to work with some of these LA hybrid anemones, spectacular in the month of January. So let's get started. First, I've inserted my birch branches into this container to give a little bit of a grid, a little bit of stability. We fill the vase up with water almost at the top because we're going to put this on an entry table. So you want it to last through the first few days of January, through the parties. We just want to take some of our hydrangea, just cut it, keep it long so it gets deep down into the water source. I'm just going to work our way around the top of the vase. And we're going to let it be a little bit loose because we're going to insert several more blooms into our design. I brought four just so we can kind of sporadically put it in each quadrant just to have a little bit of that fluffy, beautiful cream color to secure in our palette. Next, we're going to take this beautiful Dusty Miller, add it right in, in between. I love the color of this. It just works really well off of the birch branches. It's kind of that gray color, which is the hot, hot color this year in floral design. I'm going to add some, kind of in between the hydrangeas. We're going to leave it a little bit loose, uh, just to kind of give a little more fluff to our arrangement. We want this arrangement to be really luscious, because when it gets tall up on a, up on a um, entry table, we want it to have a little bit to come out of the sides here. Next, we're going to add in a little bit of our Chilean agapanthus. And this, I probably will like to cluster together just to give a little more impact. Cut them at a 45 degree angle. Just kind of find you a little area to tuck them in together. I'm going to put these right here in the front so they're definitely noticed. You can tuck one a little bit lower than the other, just so it has a little bit of that depth. I'm going to add a few more on the other side. Give it a little bit more of a cut. I 
And you can go deep down into the center of your arrangement so your eye is carried in with that white. I'm gonna add a couple more here on the back side. Because remember, it's gonna be on an entry table, so you wanna see it all the way around. Next, we're gonna add in some of our delicate anemones, which most people think it's, it is a delicate flower, but these are very, very hardy. Their stems are very, very strong. Just add it in. And you can leave these a little bit longer. You don't have to nestle them so tight. I think that kind of gives a little bit more depth into the arrangement. If you're doing this for a New Year's Eve party, which is what I'm going to design it for, since after all, we're kicking off the new year, we're going to add in a little bit of this gold eucalyptus. I'm just going to add a couple of pieces just to bring in the color of our vase into our palette. But I am going to cluster a few pieces together just so it makes a little more impact. Just find you a little bit of an area. Tuck it right in. Make sure it gets deep down so it at least gets to the water. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then to finish off this part of our centerpiece, we're going to take these great accent dangles from Accent Decor. They already have a little spiral already made on the end of them. And all we're going to do is just hang them just like that. We're going to do them at a few different levels to add a little interest. I'm going to add one right here in the front. Just like that. Now we're going to do our basic setup for our accent piece. We've taken a smaller accent decor Milan vase. We're going to take the perfect flocked branch. And why I say it's the perfect flocked branch is because I hand selected it because it has a little bit of curvature on this end to balance the weight out of our long branch on this side. The way we're going to secure this in, I've already put a little bit of wet foam down into this container. I'm going to press in the branch just so it's a little bit sturdy till I can really secure it in. I'm going to take a little bit of a high essence stake, cut me a couple of pieces, stick it on each side of the center of the branch, get it pretty close to the tip. And the weight of our flowers is really going to hold this in place as well, but just want to have a little extra mechanic underneath. You're never going to see this. Take a little chenille stem, wrap it around one of your high essence stakes, and wrap it around the other just to make sure that we've got that branch perfectly in place before we start to put our flowers in. When that's done, you can see it's not going to shake very much. We're going to take some of these beautiful hydrangeas, like we did in our first piece. And we're going to begin just to add a couple on each side. And I like to leave a little bit of the green foliage on. I'm going to add it in just like this. Then, one of my favorite things I saw when I first got to Mayish was this beautiful Oscularia succulent. This is beautiful. It's very, very heavy too. So I'm going to use the weight of this and put it right down into the center of the arrangement. And that, just by itself, is really going to hold in our branch, hold it in place. Now instantly, that's got beautiful color for our winter palette, as well as beautiful texture. Then I'm just going to kind of layer in a couple more of our agapanthus. Again, mimicking kind of what we used before. Like I said, don't put it in too deep. You just want to have a little bit depth in your arrangement as well. And remember, this one is also going to be seen from all sides on our entry table. Gonna add just a couple more pretty quickly. On the back side, I want to work in a little bit of this lace leaf Dusty Miller. I love, love, love the color. I'm just gonna add a little bit to the back, get it out of the rubber band, give it a fresh new cut. And you kind of just want to Clump it together because you want that impact, that mass impact. I'm going to stick it right here on this back side 
just for some great texture. Make sure it gets deep down into the water so it's not going to wilt on you very quickly at all. I know you can't see it, but that's beautiful on this side. Then we're going to add in a little bit of our gold, like we did in the first one, just to add in a little bit of our CD eucalyptus. I think we're going to put on this side, kind of to balance out a little bit of our back. Tuck it deep down into your oasis. You can kind of play with a little bit if you want to have a little bit of a curve. Just kind of, just kind of caress it a little bit and it'll kind of flow the way you want it to. We're going to add in a couple of these beautiful LA anemones. And these are kind of, kind of going to be some of the stars of the show here. So I'm going to tuck a few of these right in the front of our arrangement. Going to add a couple more just to make sure we get that beautiful impact. Make sure they're seen. Do a little grouping of these flowers. Just like so. Next, we're going to add some of this beautiful accent decor crystal garland. We're going to bring our arrangement up. We're simply going to take this garland and we're going to work it through. We're just going to let it kind of go into our branches. We can come back a little bit later before we actually install it in its final place and wire it in just to make sure that it's going to stay in place. Just want to kind of give it a little bit of that whimsical movement. And I want a little bit to hang down in front, so I'm just going to do a little trick here where I just take a hyacinth stake and just run it through the pre-wired garland, just like so. Make a little bit of a cluster. And we're going to tuck it right into the front of our arrangement. You can come back Clip off a little bit of the excess, your hyacinth stake, and take this and work it into one of the little branches. We'll support it just fine. And this is going to be our accent piece to go for our centerpiece. Once we get on the table, we're going to do a wonderful collection of succulent texture. This is a dinner plate succulent all the way from Holland. Gorgeous. If you want this to come into your door from Mayesh, that's what you want to make sure you ask your sales representative for, the beautiful dinner plate succulent. Shooting this first Mayish video has been a wonderful experience. Everything from meeting a lot of the Mayish family, to being able to meet all of their sales team, and even the guys who pack those boxes that come directly to your door. It's been a wonderful journey so far. I got to create a wonderful entry piece for you. And also, we did some behind the scenes footage with Laura London and myself talking about all the wonderful, awesome blossoms for January. Be sure to tune in for our next design project coming up in February.